what is the secret about nigeria always wanting to celebrate their elderly legends and it's not only about fella i've seen how they treat jj okocha i've seen how they treat other people who have excelled in other profession that's paved way for the new ones dj paco rich yes 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 my people welcome to the channel called dj paco rich here yeah the afri niger or the niger ghana channel right here and today we are here to discuss something very interesting something on top of um, the hearts of a lot of people you know there is a concept that i always have within me that if you are a young guy and you disrespect an elderly person you'll be disrespected too because old age is a must unless maybe your dream is to die at your younger age but if you really want to live long you should know that you would have to treat your elderly people the way you would want to be treated when you grow up um there is something about nigeria that i so much appreciate as at the kind of respect they have for people that paved way before i even speak about fella even in modern day generation the level of respect that people give to two baba two face it is so so nice so wonderful that even me i wish people would accord me with that respect and that's another they give to two baba there have been instances here in other parts of africa like ghana for example i feel we are not celebrating our legend so much we have had the great ones like Ebotila, he's still alive, 86, and he's going for tour around the world. In US, even this year, his music is being used for Lexus commercials and all that. He's a Ghanaian, he's Fela's best friend. He's alive, and Ghana, we are not celebrating him enough. Ebi Krentel just passed away. Nanam Pedu died not long ago. And even some of the modern influential musicians could not go to his funeral. Which is sad. And Nigerians are doing something so special that they are celebrating Fela. Fela each and every year. That we have something we call celebration. This year they celebrated it. In fact, I didn't pay so much attention to the event to be honest but you know like i always say i have one eye one leg in nigeria so whatever happens in nigeria i have somebody who would inform me about it with my sister here queen she has a lot of information about this i would like to discuss with her what she thinks and what is the secret about nigeria always wanting to celebrate they are elderly legends and it's not only about fella i've seen how they treat jj okocha i've seen how they treat other people who have excelled in other profession that's paved way for the new ones we are not doing that a lot should we always wait for people to die reggie rackstone are we celebrating him enough my sister how are you doing i'm fine dj um, I believe the family in Nigeria is okay. Everybody is doing great in Nigeria. Yes. Beautiful. I believe you heard my introduction to this conversation. Celebration. What is so special about celebration? Why is it necessary for us to celebrate a legend like Fela? Why is it that you people take so much honor? in the life and the legacy of fella because in ghana ah i don't remember any legend that has an annual event that we are doing every year unless maybe an event house wants to organize something he puts three of them together we make small noise about it and it ends there tell me something about celebration okay um thank you dj once again for putting me on your show we call them legends, okay? Not just musicians, not just actors, actresses. Legends. 
because they pass on a legacy that we Africans we want to emulate from. Collaboration is like a festival. It is an annual event mm. held in Lagos to to uphold the legacy of Fela Kuti. Okay, mm, yeah. He lived a life that was so unique. Remember, mm. he wasn't just a musician. He used his music as a powerful tool to communicate with the government and with the masses. Mm. Okay. So time he established his music. He picked it up. He said instead of taking his gun to fight government, he used music. Fela was the hope of the hopeless then during his era. He was the voice to the voiceless. And he was the only person who openly opposed military government then. And he paid a heavy price for mm. it. He lost his mother because they came after him, burnt down his home. And in the process, they attacked the mom. And the mom survived severe injury mm. due to fall and later died in the attack. Despite that, Fela pushed on. Okay, he really did a lot of work through his music, and he is the kind of a person we want to uphold in this country. He's not the only one. There are legends, Oliver the Coke, Ositos Adebe. These are a group of persons who used their music to educate. the government, the news which is for liberation of the people. So for Fela, he is being celebrated every year. This is 24 years that we've celebrated him. He passed on in 1997 yeah. and 1998. Femi Kuti, the first son, initiated the Fela donation. Though they didn't do it in 1999, but in 2000, they started it all over again. And from then to now, it's been very nice. Last month, um, on the 16th, 16th was the last day. It started on the 10th, then Monday. There are seven music in honor of that. A lot of musicians came from all around the world. They selected to perform. They perform different genres of music, and more than 200 musical acts was performed all through the seven days. And in the end, people came together and rejoiced, and they were happy because of the legacy. Of Listen, now, DJ. If we do not celebrate our legends, how will our own children know them? Yes. died more than 20 years ago. Yeah. Yet. If you ask a year old boy, year old you know, they don't have time because we decided to maintain their name, to celebrate what they've done, so that all their efforts, their suffering, the price that they pay, will not be in pain. So that is exactly what we've been doing. So every wow. year we celebrate Fela collaboration and every year there is a theme okay this year they said is fear not for man let mm. be another thing that is how it goes on and on even on the 21st of last month he was also honored in Paris mm. Mm. honored mm. him because he also did wonders there via his music so His music he had there that he is being the cadres of African things in Lagos. It is seen as an African center, just like a race area. Where you see a lot of exhibitions being displayed, performances in there. Mm -hmm. So like the celebration that was held last month, and I told you it's for one week. Yeah. There were music concerts, exhibition of was a competition yeah okay dance competition and a lot of things that took place and people were there to 
enjoy, to relax, and to celebrate. Fela. Do you know his full name? I know it is Fela An Anokupula, something like that. Okay, his name is Olufela Olushegun Oludoto Ransom okay. Uti. Okay, so the Anokupula is in his, his real name. Oh, his, okay. No, he also has Fela Anikulako Kuti. However, his complete name is Olufela Olushegu Oludoto Anikulako Kuti. <laughs> mm. So that's his full name. So his short name is Fela Olufela, the short name of the short name. That's that's an amazing name. So that is all about Fela Boy. That's 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 amazing. I would like to draw people's attention to this. Um, what I'm showing you is the Instagram handle of Fela. Fela is dead. Fela is dead and gone. But Fela has a verified Instagram account. Fela's account. The last time that he posted was five days ago i mean if i'm to go through his instagram handle you can see how updated and how lively it is this means there is a conscious effort to maintain the legacy of the man there is a conscious effort to preserve whatever he created when you go to the page, his arts, his way of doing things, his beliefs has not been changed. It is still being done as at how he would have done his own things if he lived. And I would like to applaud the kids, the management and whoever. Personally, I have had the opportunity to watch a documentary called Finding Fella. And then when you watch this documentary you would you would understand why nigeria cherish this man so much because you know in modern days musician they are afraid to have issues with politicians because they know how dangerous politicians can be but we are talking about a man who felt more for his people and I'm, I'm saying this because I feel some of the musicians are being selfish. More than their musicians, regardless Ghana or Nigeria. Because you are serving audience. You have a fan base. You have people who have made you an icon. And you are their voice. You would have to speak to them in terms of things that are not going into their favor but for the fear of man a modern day musician will refuse to speak the truth through his music to tell the government about what the people feels it has gotten so bad that in these days politicians actually can pay musicians to back them to do as bad and this is one thing that fella always stood for he stood for the people i watched the documentary and there was one interesting part that i felt like yo this man is crazy because he took his mother's coffin to a military barracks he's fearless he took the coffin to them and I'm sure they disciplined him. They gave it to him. But yes, still. There are instances that they locked him up. Trying to frame him up on drugs and all these things. But yet, this man was not afraid to speak the truth. There's this song that I'm sure a lot of people love. It's Zombie. And it was a song targeting the Nigerian military. In modern days, even if you are wearing a camel, when you see a military man, you are running away. Even police, we are afraid of them. This is a man who can speak his mind to the military people. And I feel 
and it's right for us to celebrate him but the painful part is that we are not getting people or young nigerian musician who can stand in for us when the government or the politicians are failing us to speak their mind to sing songs uh, recently i did a review about one guy i think he was also doing well raskino he he also passed away not long ago he also sang a song when things were not going well in nigeria under pressure under pressure and there is one guy idris he also did nigeria jaga jaga and i think he had issues with obasanjo and all that these are some of the things that we are also expecting from the musicians it is enough every music about banana cassava banana i'll play a video to you with excite to the number of times banana has been used in nigerian music yes we appreciate love and odoye but sometimes let's sing to the development of our country let's sing against people who do not mean good to us all these Oyibo people this racism things this whole lot of stuff sometimes we need people who can tell them that we are africans we believe in ourselves we believe in our skin color and we believe that we can become great people so i'm very very happy and i would like to extend this to our Ghanaian fellows there are Ghanaian men there are Ghanaian musicians who are also worth celebrating let us not always wait till they die they will come and write all these big tributes about them no we need to celebrate these legends in Africa before they pass away my sister thank you so much for this knowledge that you've but if there are other things you would like to add about fella that's an ordinary viewer i mean this video will be here for years so the younger generation would come to watch when even me and you we are old people they would remember us for this education that we gave them that if they celebrate their elderly people the younger ones that will come will also celebrate them it is just a natural principle if you treat your mother bad your children will also come and treat you bad it is how it is so if there are other things about fella you would like to educate people on this we've done 70 minutes we can you can add that up to them you said it you said it all there is nothing more to add okay no. you are celebrating Legend and other legends should also be celebrated so yes. that our generation, our future, our our uh, the next generational children or musicians will know more about them. Great, great. Hopefully, myself, I think next year I would have to find means to make it to celebration, to witness it, to have a feel, to be at the shrine and also tell more people about that some people in the meantime like you can see on your screen we are still in the jewel business as you can see queen's neck her necks are busy mm, her necks are busy her necks are blinking and her earrings are blinking and it was proudly sponsored by herself because she chose to have her jewelries from queen's jewelries in nigeria and you can see the phone number on your screen plus two three four that's the code plus two three four ghana is plus two three three this is plus two three four seventy thirty three forty five ninety eight eighty one that's the number whichever wherever you day for this continent for this globe just place an order you can talk to her on whatsapp she will show you samples great jewels things that you can use for your wedding corporate everywhere and even if you want some in ghana i'm here i'm the agent i'll supply you just tell us what you want so thank you for your time queen is also on youtube she has a special channel which talks about relationship life coach and all that i think you should go there last week you dropped a video about friends we should be cautious of or is it a silence yeah 
no 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 that one is um not everyone is your friend but the yeah. last one i dropped was about your woman being silent if your yes. woman is silent then yes something is wrong somewhere. yeah that's that so people if you are the type that your woman is silent there is a problem even if you are you know what i mean and she's silent meaning something is wrong somewhere you definitely need to fix it and queen has all the solutions subscribe to her channel queen's channel on youtube great content educative informative content there and also get to the shop get some jewelry look good because people will judge you by the way you look when they see you they don't know that you have a mansion but when they see you and you are looking good they will give you all the respect you understand you can't move around with your house you understand but your body how you look is how people address you how you dress is how you are being addressed queen are they lie you're correct all right so guys thank you for watching this video let me know your views your comments about what you feel about celebrating our elderly people legends from africa not only music people who have excelled in business people who have excelled in fame there are people that i can't wait to meet them like the rams you know west and the uh P petit Dochi. those that are even dead like somebody like sam loco if i see him i'll be the most happiest man mr ibu and the rest let's celebrate these legends they made our childhood days and youthful days very exciting so we don't need to you know downplay them guys thank you for watching this video i'm sure we'll come your way with another exciting one but in the meantime comment and go to queen's youtube and enjoy some great videos there thank you for watching DJ Paco Rich